it's still alive, lol. It's gonna take some time, but more devlogs will actually be coming. Also, thanks for the crazy amount of support. It means a lot. Despite this comment leaving viewers with a sense of trust and faith in Mythic Legion's return, the future of his channel would be a silent one. After posting just two videos and amassing over 7.7 million views, becoming verified and gaining success which would take others years, what happened to one of the most successful startup channels ever? Well, Mythic Legion would start his journey all the way back in 2015, when he would try his hand at making a few solid attempts at game development. However, this would ultimately prove to be unsuccessful, as in combination with difficulty and frustration, he suffered severe burnout. The motivation was gone, and further development and progress was put on hold for three years. It would only be in the last half of 2018 that Mythic would rediscover game development and seriously think about how it might be something that he would potentially want a future in. A main reason why he even liked game development in the first place was because it combined so many of his interests into one. There was 3D modelling, animation, music, logical thinking and character design, just to name a few. Except there was still one problem. It's all very well that he refound his love for making games. However, what would prevent him from just falling back into previous burnout and frustration, losing motivation and taking another three-year hiatus? Something had to change. Well, in February of 2019, Mythic Legion stumbled across a small channel with less than 100 subscribers at the time. They had posted a video titled, Six Months of Learning Game Development in Unity, Progress and Result. This video was uploaded by Danny, one of the largest game development channels on YouTube. Danny would act as a huge inspiration for Mythic Legion, as he would eagerly watch his channel's progression over time. This inspired him to finally make the infamous Mythic Legion channel in May later that year. Mythic said that creating devlogs seemed like a great way to keep yourself motivated to continue working on a project, and it seemed fun to share your progress with others who were equally excited to see what he'd post next. Over the course of 2019, he would use Unreal Engine to start his new work on game development. However, after many hours spent programming, realised that in order to make a real game, you would need to use the programming language C++ instead of what Unreal Engine offered. However, this would ultimately be one of the toughest challenges he would ever have to face, as it was back to square one from here. Despite taking a school class in C++, he assumed it would have prepared himself enough to make the dive, to make the next leap, but he couldn't have been more wrong. Using C++ and Unreal Engine, however, was far more difficult than he had thought, and was too complex to try and program an entire game with it. He was doomed to fall into the never-ending spiral of frustration, how-to tutorials, and eventual abandonment of game dev as a whole. However, this time it was different. At the very lowest point of his despair, he somehow happened upon an article called How to Make Your First Video Game, written by a guy named Pontypants, who would also later go on to make his own devlogs. This was the article he needed. This was the holy grail, the bible for new game developers, as the article was full of good information and tips, answering vital questions and giving Mythic some of the best advice he'd heard. It read, Don't get me wrong, if you have compared game engines and are certain that Unreal is the right way for you, by all means, go for it. I'm just saying that Unity is a little bit simpler and will force you to learn coding but won't throw you in the deep end with C++ right off the bat, making it slightly friendlier for beginners. Also, when you have a firm grip on Unity, moving over to Unreal will not be a big deal at all, so your time in Unity will definitely not be wasted. Basically, Ponty Pants was saying that if you do decide to pick Unity over Unreal Engine, your time will not be wasted as they have many features that cross over, meaning you can apply skills that you learn on Unity such as coding. Moreover, as well as being easier for beginners to use, it was in itself still a great game engine, which made the choice easy for Mythic. That was the moment. That was what he needed to hear. He read through half of Rob Miles' cheese edition of his C-sharp programming yellow book to really get to grips with the language, followed Unity's Roller Ball tutorial series to get started, and learn a few more basic mechanics. And then, from that moment on, he decided, no more tutorials before I upload my first devlog. Then, the video dropped. Mythic had done quite a lot of research on how to become successful on YouTube and learned all about the basics. A good thumbnail, good story, don't overthink it, etc. Except, he didn't just learn these tips, he absolutely mastered them. This was outlined when he posted his introductory video to the channel, which was well edited, unique, and had incredible attention to 
detail. Today, the video is sitting with over 230,000 views, which goes to show that once his content found the right audience, there was vast room for growth. A few months after this first video, his first devlog would drop on the 24th of August 2020. It was, at face value, extremely ambitious, especially for being a beginner on YouTube and still relatively new with programming at the time, but he wanted to challenge himself, to make something truly worthy of 1 million views. However, to say it underperformed at the start would be an understatement. After about 3 months, it had gradually gained just around 1,000 views. Not exactly a terrible 12 view bomb, but it was still less than he'd hoped for. After all, he'd put hours and hours into making this video, trying to make it the best he could create. It's safe to say that you couldn't really help feeling a bit disappointed after its performance. I'm sure I would. But after this relatively uneventful three months, YouTube had other plans. After he updated the thumbnail for the 30th time, and being personally recommended in a YouTube video by another game dev named Big Toe at around the beginning of December, things started to change. 50,000 views, 100,000 views, 1 million views. He had hit it. Getting to a million views was his pie in the sky goal, the absolute dream, la creme de la creme. It was truly beyond anything he had hoped for, and well, let's just say that he achieved this goal about seven times over. It was a dream start. Although it took a while to take off, he was met with millions of viewers, thousands of subscribers, and an avid fanbase who were just waiting to see what he'd post next. And then, he didn't. A month went by. Pretty standard for game development YouTubers. The process of game dev isn't quick in itself, and that's without factoring editing time on top. But then, one month slowly turned into six, then a year, then two. Silence every time. After shattering his goal and receiving millions of views, why did he stop? Where did he go? And is he even still working on game development at all? After all, as we've seen with many game dev YouTubers, a lot of them slowly start to lose interest over time and move on to other things. Could this again be the case for Mythic Legion? Well, luckily, it's not, and the future ahead actually seems pretty positive. Mythic Legion has stated that he is in fact still actively working on game dev, and has no intentions of quitting, which for one, is a good start. Except, what seems to be more interesting is what he's been working on. Understandably, he wants to keep it a secret for his next video. However, what he's revealed is that it has taken a lot of his time. Practice and the learning of new skills such as visual effects, maths and 3D modelling, he said have been the main points of focus and the main reasons so much of his time has been taken up. On top of the points stated before, there are lots of reasons as to why it's been so long since his last upload, but he has shared that a large reason has been school, presumably prepping for exams and studying. Luckily, Mythic Legion is planning an epic return, and has said that he is just excited about it as we are, and although he has no guarantee on when he'll be returning, it should hopefully be sooner rather than later, which quite frankly is great to hear. Massive thanks to Mythic Legion himself for providing loads of the info for this video, and as well as you all for the support of my last video. It was absolutely mind-blowing. Half a million views? It's insane. I still can't believe we've hit over 6,000 subscribers already. More content coming soon, and as always, thanks for watching, and have a great day.